So, yeah, so I got myself one of these. Uh, it's just going to be a lot easier once to, you know, because yeah, I put Loctite on mine, so I've, I've moulded it a bit better. I've, I've ground that down because it was only going in so far, so I need to be able to push that pin all the way in. I've ground that down just so as it would push in a wee bit further. So, essentially, what you're doing is you're putting it on. So essentially it's just a hub puller, but it can be used for this. Um, I get this screwed down. I don't know how much that needs can actually see. Uh, but uh, obviously the nuts are all loosened. I'm trying not to cut myself over this. Maybe I need it. Maybe we should have tried this before. Uh, let's get that screwed down. Oh, okay. Keep it centered, obviously. So that's me on it there. So let's screw that onto that. You can put a spanner on that or anything, I suppose. So they're starting to pull. So let's see. No stress on any shaft or anything. Look at that, I just screwed in by hand until I cut myself probably. So go we'll a bit more. Hang on, we'll get this. Let me sort of a wee spanner first. So as it doesn't look so amateurish. And essentially, oh camera, the camera, the camera. And then hopefully. Look at that there. Beautiful. Work the treat. Because I actually think the whole issue was that uh, I had bent my spindle shaft. And this is why it was obviously making that rash noise because it was rubbing on the inside, making it sound even rasher than it actually should do. So, quite pleased with that. That's work the treat. And then. Um, is because I would put Loctite on mine, obviously then if your Loctite's on it, it uh, doesn't want to come off and if you're putting any sort of pressure, I normally use two screwdrivers either side of it, but even at that, you're not getting an equal sort of balance on it. Um, and I'm assuming it's either that or whenever I uh, stripped my both pinion and spur gears that it's bent the shaft, um, because it was after that run that the car sound started sounding really badly and then obviously I lost my I was getting 145 and I went down to 140 on a nice clean run but it sounded a bit rasher so yeah great job great wee tool hub puller eBay uh, I'll maybe attach the wee link where I got it on eBay but obviously you have to make it I ground it down a bit more up here so as it can screw further in uh, I drilled down in here but to take some of the threads off so it can screw further in and I grind that down a bit more in there so as it can be pushed further into the shaft which that's the outside and uh, that is what I will be using from now on so there you go thank you